Hey everyone, John here with Pro Edge Paintball. Today I'm going to show you how to put a speed feed on your Tipman multi cal hopper. So, for this week's tech video, uh, this, we're going to show you how to put a speed feed on this basic hopper. Uh, this is a pretty cool little hopper. It is a Tipman 50 cal or 68 cal. So, you can see here is a real small opening here, but it also includes an insert. Uh, this is a great hopper choice for people that play. Uh, either entry level recreational paintball or um, or like pump action paintball. They can uh, only hold 100 paintballs for 68 or I think it's like 220 or 350, somewhere between two and 300 uh, for 50 caliber. So, but a lot of people don't know that you can actually put a speed feed on here as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that pretty quick and kind of show you how to clean it. So pretty nice little swivel top lid here. Very hard to break it. So what you're gonna need today, of course, is a universal feed gate. So this is called a universal, that's the name of it. Uh, this is the HK brand, this is Exalt. I'm gonna show you how to put an HK one on there today. And you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. That is the plus sign screwdriver. So go ahead and loosen up all of the screws here. If you guys have any questions uh, and wanna see any other tech videos, go ahead and comment below if you got a second. I appreciate you guys taking time out to watch the video. We do a lot of do Tech Tuesday videos every week. Uh, just try to give you more content and also, you know, answer a lot of questions that we get in store. A lot of basic stuff that people, you know, may assume other people know, but they don't. So this is a pretty cool little upgrade, pretty inexpensive, but it, it's pretty nice. Also, if you ever upgrade your hopper from this basic hopper, um, this universal feed gate will fit in most of your other basic hoppers or a lot of your other electronic hoppers because of the way it fits. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five screws. Go ahead and set those out of the way. Good to go there. So good to go there. And I did leave the lid closed the whole time. This helps keep the hopper together when I'm unscrewing it. So now that I've got all the screws out, go ahead and open the lid here. And I'm going to slide the two halves apart here slowly pulling them this way or pulling away from each other. It's pretty straightforward inside there. So you have your left side of the shell, you have your lid system. So there's no spring inside the lid, so you don't have to worry about that at all, but there's a small hole here that the lid pin goes into. And that's how it works there. And then you have your 50 cal adapter. So it just locks into place. It has a small lip here on the bottom that sits inside. So it's for 50 cal adapter, good to go. So what we're gonna to do today, all you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the lid. So pull that up, slide that out, set that off to the side. And if you're gonna use 68 caliber paintballs, you want to make sure you pull this tab out. And I would definitely recommend to pull the tab out even, I don't think a speed feed would work with 50 cal uh, very well because the weight of the paintballs probably wouldn't push it down. So I would only recommend to go with a speed feed if you're gonna go with 68 caliber paintballs uh, with this hopper. But this is a Tipman hopper. It will fit other guns other than Tipman. So if you're looking for like an entry level type spider, uh, spider hopper or Tipman or a Zodin, this is a pretty good little starter hopper. So now that we have the two halves apart, you just want to put them back together. Pretty straightforward. Kind of make sure it claps together. And uh, if you want to use this little trick, you can go ahead and put the lid back on. Just don't put it obviously in the slot, but go ahead and clip it back on and that'll help hold the hopper together when you're putting the screws in there. So drop them in here. And all the screws are the same length, so you don't have to worry about putting them back wrong, which is nice, because sometimes you can damage plastic hoppers if you put the screws back in the wrong way. Go ahead and screw these in. I'm only gonna do a couple, so you guys don't have to watch me screw in all the screws. What you're gonna wanna do is tighten them down and just hand tight. You don't have to go crazy on them. So go ahead and tighten them up. Let me get all the other ones started so they don't fall out. Again, there should be five of them. So if you lost one, it might be fewer, but okay. So they're not all the way tight, but good to go. Now you take the lid off and you're gonna go ahead and grab your speed feed. So this is the HK Epix Universal Speed Gate or Feed Gate or Speed Feed. Um, these are about $20. So this is a sapphire color. They do come in multiple colors, same for the Exalt. I believe the Exalt and the HK come in probably about uh, probably five to seven different colors. Obviously your reds and blues. Okay, so on your speed feeds, there's a small 
Phillips head screw here, you want to loosen that up because you're going to have to pull this apart. Let's see if you can see that. You're going to have to pull this apart here uh, in order for it to fit on the hopper. So I'm going to take the hopper here, point it away from me, take the speed feed, and just kind of press down and spread it at the same time. It's going to click on, make sure it's smooth all the way around the edges. And then I'm going to tighten it up just a little. Just where the plastic flex is just a little bit here on the sides. You don't want to over tighten this because it will break your speed feed. Now they do have a pretty good warranty, but you don't really want to uh, uh, to break it if you don't have to, obviously. So tighten this one down so it can be all together. Good to go. And that is how you do it. Good to go. So now you're able to pour paintballs inside of here. They're not going to come out as long as you get this pretty snug on here. Again, you don't want to crank down on it too much. There is going to be a gap here in the back. So if you can see that, hopefully there's going to be a gap here in the back because of the way that the lid sits. Um, if you try to close that gap, you're going to break the speed feed. So do not do that all the way. And again, make sure you have your adapter out of it. Otherwise, your 68 caliber paintballs will not be able to go into the hopper. So good to go. Pretty straightforward. It is a pretty recommended upgrade. Um, it's kind of fun. Again, if you decide like to upgrade from this hopper to an electronic halo, uh, this same speed feed will go on your halo hopper. Uh, and I believe it will go on your HK Army Speed Hopper, which would be the next upgraded hopper from this one. So once you buy the Speed Feed one time, you're able to use it on your next electronic hopper, which is a pretty cool little feature. You're not just buying it just for a, a gravity fed type hopper. So if you guys have any questions or if I missed anything or anything was confusing, please go ahead and comment below. Uh, I do release two videos a week. So one on Tuesday for tech videos and one on Thursday for product reviews and shooting videos and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions or want to see any other videos, go ahead and comment below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching.